Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo and our beautiful fields of wild horses. Look at how gorgeous this is. Oh my gosh, you guys. I can't believe it has been so long since we have returned to Turtle Rock Animal Orphanage and the challenge that we tackled earlier this summer when we need to take care, take care of so many of these wild takahi, which are another name for the Przewalski's wild horse. Are we going to have all oh, no, everybody just wanted food. There were no nuzzles going on. I got really excited thinking we had a little bit of nuzzling, but that's not the case. But, oh, Slimer Queen, it's so good to see you again. But we are back because we are almost done with this challenge, my friends. And about time, because after we finish this challenge, I have some very special plans in mind for making a, a very, very, very cool herd of wild horses. I'm very excited about the idea of being able to set up our own Takahi or wild horse animal ah. orphanage where we'll be able to go ahead and have hopefully herds of like a hundred or so and we could just really focus on trying to make them have super healthy bloodlines and have at least like gold level herds all over the place. I think that would be amazing but in order to get the um, <clears throat> permit to do that we might say we do need to go ahead and actually finish the challenge mode challenge which I have definitely not won at gold rank but maybe I'll try doing that on a stream sometime soon just saying so what we need to do now is just install three more Vista points in the zoo and power everything in the zoo with renewable energy and something tells me well I wanted oh we have a panda I forgot we had a panda <laughs> Okay, they're very stressed and trying to hide, but I think we can totally fix that. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh my gosh, and I forgot we had those, those oh my gosh, the, what are, the simians. That's what they are. All right, yeah, we're, we're gonna go ahead and fix this. I think we just made it. Did I change all the, oh no. What do you mean it doesn't change? Okay, that's not gonna do. Look, everybody, our panda needs some privacy. Oh my gosh, why does this not wanna change on me? Okay, look. Okay, why is this... What about this one? What about this one? Oh, no, that's just normal glass. <gasps> we don't have two-way glass. Oh, this is a tragedy, friends. That is going to stress our pandas out. All right, well, let's go ahead and see. Hang in there, Queen. Uh, if I can go and get our mechanics. We don't have any ATMs, which apparently is upsetting. Gosh darn it, I just have like two things I need to do left and all of this chaos is happening. All right, where's our mechanics? So architect Caitlin, that's right. Architect Caitlin was doing a bunch of research. Uh, unfortunately, one way glass is pretty far down, but we're gonna shift Caitlin off of doing research for the souvenir shops, or maybe we're gonna have pilot David. We'll have pilot David come and start doing research on the barriers. Oh, and meanwhile, maybe we can make our actual like bear a little happier. Well, panda bear by putting in like a protective screen of bamboo so we'll see if this maybe helps out a little bit hi my dear still feeling pretty stressed all right what if i go ahead and we actually install a privacy fence here at the back where we're just going to kind of shrink it down and we're gonna put in some toys and some enrichment items. All right, we're feeling a little calmer and she can climb over this fence as we do know pandas can actually climb. We have figured that out through <laughs> the very interesting, very first panda we ever had. A little on on, do you guys remember her? Boy, that got really exciting really fast because on on, like first time we ever, look, see, did this. On the very first adventure we ever went on in Planet Zoo, what happens? Anon -on yeeted herself uh, like right over and I learned, oh, did you know pandas can, can climb? I should have known. All right, so we'll put like a tree feeder back here for her, I think, and like a scent marker. And then what else can we put back? So enrichment. Oh, listen to those guys yell. Some cardboard boxes and maybe a block of ice. Okay, so that'll be good, and a rubbing pillar. And we'll more or less have all of her enrichment. Okay, that's weird that it's obstructed. All right, we'll put this one there. 
So I think she'll start doing a little bit better. Uh, yay! And our Przewalskis are expecting babies left, right, and center, which is really fun too. I think she'll start doing a little bit better over there. Their exhibit is just so ridiculously popular right now because, you know, pandas. But let's see if we can put in... Oh, yay! Christy's had her baby! Congratulations, Christy! Is this the little one? Probably because... Oh, wait. There's actually a lot of unnamed little babies now. Well, hold on to your names, my friends. Keep leaving those comments and I will use them in the random name generator in the future because we are going to be moving from this facility very shortly, but we are going to be trying to, like, I'm going to make a little list of the names we have and we're going to be trying to bring back, like, Cyber Queen the Second, for instance, uh, in the near future. All right, let's go for the renewable energy while we're over here. And we'll see if we can get it set up so the mechanics can reach everything just right. Hmm. So we need to wiggle that back a little bit. But that's okay. So what if I install like three of them right here? And then let's move the Froggy's Veggie Delivery Service. Oh, that's right. Which is our delivery service for the food for the animals. We'll scoot that over a little. And then we'll make a little path that I, I hope, okay, let's, let's see if I can, okay, I take it back. It's been a little bit friends and suddenly you're reminded at how difficult path making is in Planet Zoo. That's fine. Uh, but we'll make a little path. We'll connect these guys to, yes, like this shouldn't be hard. You're literally right next to each other. Hello? <laughs> Hello, please? All right, all right, what about, oh, I see. That's the problem. All right, there we go. So now we should be able to have that taken care of, uh, but what happens if we remove that? Okay, then we just have a little chunk over here that would need powered by renewables. I probably don't need this middle one right there, actually, so we'll move it to its own group over here because people don't seem to mind having the renewable energy things out which i appreciate or oh, simyongs are expecting offspring already oh gosh that would be so exciting mechanic research is done on the souvenir shops good job architect caitlin i'm gonna get you working on those barriers hopefully swapping architects doesn't like mess things up all right let's find where else we have transformers and get rid of them so, we also have one over here. Oh, how did people wander all the way back here? I mean, I don't mind giving like a tour of the zone because this area is really cool. I love behind the scenes zoo stuff personally, but I don't know if that's for the best. All right, that's good. We just have like one thing that's not powered back here. What even is this? A window? Huh. I wonder if you could somehow kind of build a TV screen into the side of a building and then you could put in a fake image of the interior. Oh, that's so brilliant. I never thought of that before, but that actually might be like a really cool way, thing, way to do things. All right, meanwhile, the red panda. Yeah, the animals seem to understand they have like a little hidden area they can get back to to de-stress. And I will give them that blocked glass as soon as I can. All right, so let's continue on, friends. We're gonna find all these transformers. There's some over here that we're gonna go ahead and remove in just a second. I don't think this will take us terribly long. It, it sort of feels like signing the final paperwork before we can be like, now, will you hand this facility over to me so that I can do the very, very diligent and important work of starting my own horse rescue. All right, so that one's done. And then there's another set that we need to put down here. So we'll install that one. And then I think we need to have maybe another one over here. But it doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to be efficient. And I like the challenge of trying to get renewables 
for everything in our next zoo as well. I also love these new shells. Oh, and I love the little arcways and I love the green, the green color on the trash cans and the picnic benches. Should I care about such subtle details? Well, friends, you know, it's the details that make you happy in life, I think. All right, we're gonna have a, a quick moment where we completely removed that and they're gonna freak everything out because now nothing can work. But, quick moment, was only supposed to last a second. Why won't you work? Train modification failed. That's fine. That's fine, just leave me in a, in a ditch like that. All right, did that work? Okay, we've just got one spot in the whole area now that needs covered. And that's right over here. Guess what? We've got a nice little spot right there. And almost, almost, boom. Yes. Okay. So now we have powered the entire zoo with renewables. And now we just need to put in the Vista points. <laughs> well, we'll at least try to make the Vista points somewhat nice. Thank you very much. All right. We'll try to pick some nice Vista spots and then we will go ahead and put those in. Um, I actually feel like this could make a nice Vista spot because it's next to this river. Facility is having a significant negative effect on guests. I thought you guys liked wind turbines. Fussy. Fine. I'll scoot you back another, another level. Ugh. I can't wait to be able to like build all of this into something new. This is going to be really fun. All right, so Vista. Hmm? All right, Vista, Vista, Vista. There we go. I think this makes a great Vista point over here. Being able to like stand under this beautiful arcway, looking out over the river, giving us a chance to reflect on the beautiful things we have made. And then personally, I actually feel like being in the forest is kind of like a Vista point. And you get to look around and there's like cute little houses and look at all of this i mean we've got to do this in our next zoo we have got to come in with the little tiny plant pots i'm very excited about that idea actually oh and there's a little you know what let's let's upgrade this little pond to be even cuter so that it can count as a lovely vista point as well apparently there's a ton of litter ah, it's hard being popular what could i say i like the fox rocks Hmm, the faux rocks even. Let's see. Broken wooden bridge. That's really cool. We've already used it elsewhere. Ooh, broken tree. Oh, wow. Look at how cool that is. I really like it, but I guess it makes sense that you wouldn't have a lot of broken trees out on a... Ooh, but I like these custom dead trees. I think we'll move the custom dead trees into this pond. My goodness, Simyungs are quite uh, vocal, aren't they? There we go. I'm going to be using these Vista points to be able to be like, just look at my trees <laughs> all of the time now, because that is really pretty. And then let's come and we'll add in some wetland plants. Thank you very much. Yay, she's taking pictures of my trees. I like you. I like you a lot, ma'am. So we'll do aquatic and then we can come in and let's do align to water. Oh my, yeah, maybe, maybe neither. There's the common reeds. Maybe a few common reeds just growing in the back. Oh, I forgot how soothing and just relaxing being able to make things pretty is. It makes me want to dive into our zoo crafting world and just start making lots of pretty things there too. But don't you worry guys, we'll bring that zoo to life sooner than later too. All right, and we'll add in a few things right here. Because, gosh heck, if I'm going to turn this into a Vista spot, it might as well be a very pretty Vista spot. See? Yeah, yeah, don't you agree, random people stopping by? I, too, think that this is quite lovely. Let's see, bald cypress, common reeds. I wasn't using common reeds over on the other side, was I? With a little common mangrove tree. I kind of want to put in a mangrove apple tree. It's kind of nice. Underwater, underwater temple plant. Let's see, underwater illgrass. Weeping, ooh, weeping willow would possibly be even better there. I do love a good weeping willow. 
There we go. Oh no! One of the Onyx has possibly died of old age. Like, old age. Oh, and our poor panda. I really hope we're going to be able to take better care of our panda soon. There we go. We've got to get that. We've got to get that window. But we'll have that in our franchise zoo once we're able to set it up. But all right. So I think we just have the very last of the Vista points to put in. Yep. And then we will finish this. <laughs> dubiously as it is but don't worry friends we will absolutely positively definitely be coming back for our wild horses and giving them an even better home in the near future i want to do a quick tour of the zoo before we go just to see what we have accomplished but we started out front i still love the broken fence motif with like all of the the stone everywhere that's really awesome i love the fences I love the sunflowers. I'm big on the sunflowers and want to continue the sunflower fun. Oh dear, I forgot how we had so many peafowl and I really hope that none of them are laying any more eggs. And I love the way we made this section. I really had big dreams for it. And I, I am gonna try to mimic that, but we're gonna need to start like with a little field of wild horses and just build up from there in order to make a proper franchise zoo. And the good news about that is we won't have to stick the poor flamingos in with the oryx anymore. Oh, but that's so pretty too. And I loved the olive, the olive orchard that we made. That made me very happy. And this back area is just so cool. I want to mimic something with these in the future so we can just like leave little transport things around and make our zoo look even more lively this way. So absolutely going to be mimicking this. Like look at how cute this is. Absolutely going to try to mimic the heck out of it so that we can go ahead and sprinkle them all over the place. I love this section. This kind of creativity and this like in-depth detailing is just fantastic. I want to make so many farmer's markets. <gasps> I bet there are so many farmer's markets available now. Oh, I need to hire an architect, aka go to the, the gallery on Steam and download a whole bunch of those. The workshop, I should say. And then of course we have our beautiful field of wild horses, which seem to be just thriving. And I cannot wait to help them out again. And we whip around past our custard trees and the gorges that I think really work as an excellent way to differentiate between the different animal habitats. Oh yeah, the waist high grass I never bothered clearing. I hope there's no like ticks or triggers here because that would suck for everybody. Then we have our unexpected animal area where we shoved in a whole bunch of the different animals into the same thing. I love all of these scarecrows and we'll absolutely be naming them after some of you guys in the future because that they're just one of my favorite things ever. And then of course the forest! Look at our forest! Oh, this little lake looks even more beautiful with a few plants. But what doesn't look more beautiful with a few plants, eh? Then we wiggle our way over. Oh, wow. It's just so cute. I like this little sign. We could have put a real sign there. I love this forest path. I love the little plants. Oh, it's just so charming. We're going to be putting these kinds of little plant setups everywhere. Almost forgot about the pangolins. Hi, guys. Very unique enclosure for them. It's really small, but it does its job. Oh, are we going to have a pangolin escape? <laughs> we might have a pangolin escape if we're not careful with that. I'll remember that for the future. Ooh, I didn't notice this before. There's a whole like sitting area for the conservation dome. Yeah, that's really cool. And then of course we started getting a little bit chaotic all over the place as we expanded into areas that we never quite like tidied up, but we sure were thinking about it. And we ended up with our Amur leopards. Ah, oh, the leopard cubs! I'm really proud of this roundabout viewing area. Absolutely a good idea that we will be repeating. And then finally we loop around down to this gorgeous river that I for sure absolutely want to make like return because it's just such a pretty river. And then under the lovely arches, past even more sunflowers and the best new lights. <gasps> Yay, our mechanic research is getting there. So we can make our poor panda happy. And then this whole section is just so cool. 
just so cool. We're going to be having like places where we're like, that's just the special tree. We're just going to be putting the special tree right in the center of all this stuff in the future for sure. Oh, we're going to have a lot of work to do. I hope I'm going to be able to like step up to it, build the nature tunnels and start a brand new horse rescue, which we need to do if we want it to be franchised so I can share the horses we're going to breed with you guys, which is my like bottom line goal that I'm going for here now. But we're, we're going to have to come up with that next time. For now, even though it's a bit of a, a perhaps interesting choice, I'm going to put the Vista Point down next to our Olive Orchard. And there we go. We now have the reward statue of the Przewalski's wild horse. And we have finished <laughs> in way much time uh, the challenge, which one day I will try to go for silver and for gold whilst we stream because it's going to be a little bit of chaos. Oh, I love this. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I am going to save all the names of all of these wild horses, and we are going to try to make them a brand new wild horse meadow in franchise mode, where we're going to have the ability to actually adopt out our wild horses to all of you guys in the future. So if you guys could do please leave a like for having tackled all of the Turtle Rock Animal Orphanage. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!